Right, what just happened then is I was feeling God and then a multitude of spirits um, were interested and wanted to get in on what I was doing and um, also initially sort of they were like Well, there was something like that they were trying to make me think or well, this sense in the spirits was like um, a high pitch frequency and and that's because there's many of them and so yeah for I don't know millions <laughs> a million right something like that and it seems like different frequencies would be different numbers of groups, i.e. different groups. So these are big groups out there and definitely wanted to give me the impression that they were God. But I didn't go for it, I was knowing the feeling of God and it changed, it lowered and it, like because I was about to ask, feel some of God's love and then I felt something but it wasn't the same as before and it seemed to be connected to this high pitched frequency so then I was starting to think no, no, that's not that's not right you know, I was almost fooled into it but, you know, I recognised the difference from what I felt before even if it was more than six months ago and so then that receded and I could feel God again and I was feeling God again, it came back. And the way I got to sort of feeling God again is knowing God is the seat of my pants. I'm in God. That is God. I know I know you're not God. You know, it was quite a sort of quite a struggle for a little while, you know, and <laughs> feeling really uncomfortable, wanting to get out of it, you know, that sort of thing. But no, you know, sticking with it. And then when they came back, it was more a case of, well, I'm going to, you know, in a sense, well, it was a gradual thing. So I think when it came back, it was a different, it wasn't the same group of spirits as before. The second time I got into God, it, it was, it started off like not so many. And then gradually more and more were kind of arriving and... Also, I did um, feel that my guide was with me, and that was a feeling. So, you know, and I allowed the feeling, and I, but I didn't want to get disconnected from God, so I stayed with God. Right? I'm not joking, okay? Watch all my previous videos if you think that I'm messing. Anyway. So... So this time, I it was a case of, um, you know, when you're in a, you you can attract spirits. So, you know, I, I am using cannabis to sort of achieve these sort of like bounces in raising my levels, you know. Um, and the way I got into it this time was definitely some sort of youthful memories like two three years old that sort of feeling when you can get into memories like that you see at that age you you were feeling a lot more the world was brighter more colorful more beautiful you could really feel it you know it was feelings right and you know because you were very innocent at that young age so you still were in a high level and and you know that reminds you and then and then you can remind you of this feeling and you know knowing what I know now after my life about God and especially after AJ Miller has brought the truth back, Jesus' second coming. That has happened, it is there, a lot of people are rejecting it, but it is there for you. Divine Truth channel on YouTube. Go to his older videos if you like, two thousand and eight or whatever. They're great, okay? Anyway, so <laughs> Lost it now. Right, yeah, so I was just pointing out the fact that 
you know, I'm using something, so that can attract spirits. But the Magi, they used cannabis, and they were called the wise men, because when you do smoke cannabis, it does does raise your levels. You're able to see things more clearly. You can see the answers to things, and you can get into feeling God as well, more easily, feeling your soul. And I was understanding as well that we are me. In fact, I wrote this down. <clears throat> Uh, thinking you are one with your soulmate is uncomfortable not knowing who they are. When you know the identity of your soulmate, it feels amazing. Right. So, if you think, oh, I'm not a complete thing on my own, there's another half of me out there that's disconnected, you know, that's probably quite uncomfortable and weird. And it also means you're not really going to be able to get into the full feeling of your soul because you're only thinking about half of it and don't know the other half. But knowing your soulmate makes it um, easier to know who they are and to you know to have met them, to know you know to have memories of them, perhaps you know, um, because that is you. The, the little you inside that can't cease to exist, the your soul, the other half of your soulmate is basically you. So you could say to your soulmate, we are me. <laughs> right? We are me. Right? So you have to think about that deeply. You can't just say we are me. It doesn't make any sense. You have to understand it on the deeper level. So in a relaxed level, in a meditative level when you're sort of just chilling and you know you can't and and you know why not use the cannabis it's becoming more and more legalized uh, it's medicative they know there's no toxins in it it's very healing so use it but don't abuse it all right you have to go without and you have to sort of remind yourself as you're doing this as well oh my arm <laughs> why am I holding it um, you have to remind yourself as well that um, oh, it's going to be shaky. Um, that you're on it, and like when you're facing God, it's something you have to kind of say, "I am using this, and I know I'm going to have to have my come down after this." So it's sort of something you have to be acceptance of and like yeah because you ain't going to get to God with no humility anyway like I wasn't planning to do this video to tell you how to get with God I have made videos about that and I don't really like to repeat myself because it's boring for people who have watched my previous videos so yeah no um, I thought that was worth recording and I can't remember at the moment where I started <laughs> And did I get to my final conclusion? Probably not. So there was the spirits. Yeah, so when the spirits then gradually came back. So they, in a sense, were would be able to um, experience slightly what I was feeling. And rather than ask them not to, which I could have done, I could have said, please don't, I'm I'm here feeling God, I don't want you, <laughs> because you're distracting me from feeling God. That's, that's how it was. That's how it was. And whether this is probably what's happened before, and but I hadn't been as sensitive to the spirits as I am becoming now. And I am certainly having a spiritual journey. It's the the understanding of it which which helps, you know. Really is amazing. Um because it gives you you know, the understanding of it gives you the power over it because you understand you know what to do and what not to do. Simple, right? Sorry. Um, so what I decided to do was to let them feel it because when you feel God 
there's not nothing there's nothing more satisfactory and in fact you will never receive satisfaction fully until you've felt God and that is the feeling like one of my thoughts was you know sometimes when I get into a meditative state I maybe it's a little demon who throws into me you know you want to have a fag well it is and what I noticed was I was there feeling God and you know there was there's just nowhere else you'd rather be. You you could be there, you're completely comfortable, you are, you know, you'd even be comfortable on a bed of nails. And probably that's what bed of nails is for. This is probably, people have achieved this probably before, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not saying they haven't, but I think the truth has been lost for a long time. And it's all been key to the truth. It's not me. It's all been key to the truth that has come back that enables this and it probably has happened in the past a lot but they called it a different name or you know this is God and there's there's no there's no mistaking it because of its awesomeness like even a million spirits the feeling from them is nothing to this awesomeness and how you can deal with a million spirits is quite easy when you've got God <laughs> because you know of his infinitesimally awesomeness <laughs> and, and yeah and the texts were coming in as well and you know that's what the millions of spirits have power over you know they can influence other people so you know the texts were coming out three in a row like it was quite interesting and one then so that, you know, spirits can do that, right? I mean, God could, probably, but probably wouldn't need to, and that wouldn't be God's way. But anyway... Uh, oh, always happens, it? See? Anyway, God's awesomeness. So you know God when it's God. You know. You're in no doubt. Anyway, so I was letting more and more of this... But, you know, this... This... this this was only over a period of about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, I'm not sure. So, it wasn't a particularly long one, but it was um, interesting. I don't know, you don't, time isn't really, but a lot happened, you know, a lot, there's a lot to remember, and that's why I wanted to make this video as well, so I didn't sort of forget, which I think happens quite a lot with some of the insights I get. I don't usually straight away make a video. You know, sometimes leave it a bit longer. And yeah, I should just do it straight away because when you're there feeling, you know, a lot, a lot happens, a lot goes on, and I'm probably just blubbling on now. Right, so yeah, it's a lot. And the final point. So, so then, um, just more and more were coming, and I was thinking, <laughs> you know, I don't know how many. Um, I'd like to have and um, and also I've got to bear in mind it's not just we could might be that I don't know if my soulmate is being affected by this in fact I am um, trying to find out so I did anyway um, <laughs> um, 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 um. See, and it's weird, like, no, you know, I'm not feeling good when you sort of, when you've done something right, it feels good for change. And all the right things to do are to, you know, stuff that's good with God. God, the mother and father of all of our souls. Anyway, so more and more things are coming. It was getting to the point where there's just so many that, I can feel like I'm almost going to have an out of body experience. I'm going to be sort of not not being in me at all. There's like no room left for me. That sort of that sort of number. And so, considering, I suddenly then thought, shit, if this is affecting my soulmate, I better better let this finish now. So, I, because before I um. You know, it was getting becoming uncomfortable and stuff, you know, but, but still I was able to sort of stay in the, you know, not sort of 
think too much that I lost the feeling of God. I could still feel a slight part of it. So I knew that I was still in it. I hadn't kind of left it and that I was... You know, I think God thought it was a good idea as well to let all these spirits just have a, you know, a sample of the feeling. Because they're all striving for this feeling. Everyone is striving for this feeling. Whether you know it or not, you are. You try and find satisfaction here. You try and find satisfaction there. You never will. Because you are striving for that feeling with God. Take it or leave it. That's the case. Um, so, you should get that. You can do it. Get the truth. You need the truth. And you need to do some other things. But, um, right. Which, if yeah, is in my videos. Again. And divine truth. That's essential as well. Um... So, yeah, so I broke out of it and then started making this video. So that is the end. Well, if you've watched this long, how long's it been going on? Sixteen minute video. I don't I'm not gonna sing. No. Ciao for now. <laughs>